Hi everyone and welcome to another ServiceNow video. Your host for today is me, Goran Lundqvist, and today we're going to talk about something called response templates or template snippets. Let me just pull in the video as well. There we go. So, template snippets. You will see that in the HR and as I understand it, you will probably need HR license for it. I'm not really sure, but it might be worth looking into. But template snippets. If you go into documentation, you can read a little bit about it here. What you can see, and as you can see, you will need the HR core to do it. I, I would say if you have HR, you can reuse these in incident and so on as well. Just make sure that the license models are working for you. But what are response template or template snippets? Well, when I was in the service desk, I used Notepad to, to, to have my um, standard template responses to the end users and just copy paste from Notepad into the, the ticket system we have then. If I had response templates like this, it would be really nice and I would be screaming of joy. So what you need to do, you need to go to plugins and the plugin itself is called templated snippets and you just activate that one just like you do with any other one. Sadly, there is any link to any documentation and so on, so there isn't so much to read about it. After you've done that and you reload it, you get a, a little bit of an admin page, which is not really so much. You have records of different templates, and you can, if you click on record, you will have a name on which table this uh, templated response should affect on. In this case, I've shown you the incident table. As you can see, you will only have tables that are extended from task or at least have task as a base table, meaning that it might be like incident task is extended from incident, but incident itself is extended from task. And then of course you will have a template body where you can insert pictures and the HTML code as well. Since you choose a table, you are able to see all the fields and use those just like you do in a notification. You just go down here and say, okay, here I would like to start with hi, and then of course the caller's ID name. So I go into caller and I'll just do like this. And I'll remove, well, how, how are you? Just so you can see when I use it later on. Then you can set up conditions as well, either like now, so this template will be shown on all incident, no matter what the conditions are in different fields, or you perhaps, to keep down the amount of templates, set it on a specific field, and just two seconds. Sorry about that. You can set, for example, that this template should only be visible when state is in progress, for example. A good thing as well, you don't have it out in the fields, is the current date. So you could actually insert it here like this, and it will set the date that it is, not when the template is created, but when you use it. So let's save this one called email server down. We'll save it. Now let's go to incident and we'll tick someone with new. Now, as you can see, you will have a new action called responses. So I click on that one, then I will get a nice little, let me move myself around. From now, I can choose which template would I like to use. And as you can see, you can't see the email server down at the moment because the state is new. So let's change it in progress. We'll have to save since it's not res responsive. It won't change when I change stuff here. I need to save it. And it will reload. And now we can see there it shows up by quite more. Email server down. 
And as you can see, it takes the color name and today's date. And in this case, I can just copy it, go down additional comments and copy it. There you go, and paste it. And then post it to the end user and he will have a nice, good looking comment. So this was just going to go through the thing I wrote down. Yeah, this was pretty much about it, about the respawn templates. It's a quite nice feature to do. And I think the, the service desk will really like it. And of course, other people that are using templated responses to, to talk to customers and normally you have that a lot. Well, that's about it. And let me turn off the video and hope this will help you a lot and or at least the, the service desk. Thanks for watching and see you soon.